This video will cover how to solve an exponential equation where we cannot get a common base. The last video showed you problems where this might be 3 to the x equals 81, where we could write the 81 as a power of 3. Well, this is impossible. There is no power that goes on 3 to make 79, so we can't do this the same way. What we're going to do here is use logarithms, actually the natural logarithms, to be able to solve this. So our directions say express the answer in terms of natural logarithms. Then use a calculator to find an approximation of two decimal places. You may remember from high school algebra that at this point when you had an exponential equation where you could not get a common base, you would have taken the log of both sides. Well, this book is asking you to do the natural log. It's the same process, it's just at the end you will use the natural log button rather than just the log button. You might ask the question, why are we even doing this log thing or natural log thing to solve this equation? Well, this is an exponential equation. To undo exponential, we need to do the opposite, which is logarithm. Most of the equations you have solved before, you solve by doing the opposite of what's been done. So it's the same idea here. We have raised something to an exponent to undo the exponential. We do the opposite, which is log or natural log. As long as we do it to both sides, then it's perfectly legal to take the natural log of both sides. So I have written ln on this side and ln on that side, and that's all I have done on this step. The reason that is such a worthwhile strategy is that if you remember your properties, ln or log of something to a power, the power gets to detach and come down in front and become a coefficient, which is going to make it a whole lot easier to deal with. Well, this is x times something. If you're going to undo multiplication, all you have to do is divide both sides by ln of 3. And there's our answer expressed in terms of natural logarithms. This is the exact answer, ln of 79 divided by ln of 3. To get the approximation, type it into your calculator, and we get approximately 3.98. We've rounded it to two decimal places. Now remember something from a couple of videos ago, and that is on the TI-81 or 83, when you type in LN, you automatically get a front parenthesis. Type in the 79, you must remember to close out that parenthesis before you do LN of 3. Of course, your other choice on something this simple is to do LN 79, not worry about closing it off, but then be sure you hit enter and there'll be some sort of decimal showing on your screen and then you could do divided by ln of 3. Let's look at another one, same idea, 2 to the x equals 74. To solve this, we're going to take the ln of both sides, ln 2 to the x. This x exponent gets to come down in front and become a coefficient. Now that says x times ln of 2 equals ln of 74. To undo that multiplication, all we have to do is divide by ln of 2. That is our exact answer. Use your calculator to get an approximation, and it's approximately 6.21. Now how do you check this? Well, take this back to this exponent here, and 2 to the 6.21 is going to give us approximately 74 because we rounded this off. If you want to see this exactly, when you do ln of 74 divided by ln of 2 on your calculator, it's going to be this big long decimal. Use your store button, so hit stow as x, and then all you'd have to type into your calculator is 2 to the x. Now it's just the TI-81, or it's just the TI-83 and 84 that have that stow button. If you're using a different kind of calculator, you might have to do some different calculator strokes. A little more complicated because there's a binomial up here, but the process is no different. We're going to take the ln of both sides. This exponent gets to come down in front, but because this is a binomial, be sure you put it in parentheses. Those parentheses are very important. If you don't have parentheses here, this is just going to look like x plus 4 times the ln of 3. And it's the whole quantity x plus 4 times the ln of 3. Now, this is blah 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 times ln of 3. Let's divide both sides by ln of 3. This is still x plus 4. The only way to get this x alone now would be to subtract 4 from both sides. And you know, you can't take 4 from this right here until you type it into the calculator. But this is your exact answer for this problem. Type it into your calculator, remembering when you get that front parenthesis to supply the back parenthesis, divide by ln of 3, and because you're going to be subtracting 4 at the end, you do need to close off that ln of 3 unless you hit enter after every single step. And there's your approximation of 0.43. Hit enter after each step. You could do ln 130, enter, divided by ln 3, 
Enter. Minus 4 will still give you the same answer. So either use your Enter button between each step or close off the parentheses that the calculator automatically gives you. Now, a base of E. Same process, which is one other thing to talk about here. This is 9 times e to the x. This process of taking the ln of both sides is only worthwhile if this exponential thing stands alone. So the first thing we want to do is divide both sides by 9, which gives us this. This is crucial. The exponential expression must be alone before you take the ln of both sides. So we'll take the ln of both sides. Now something pretty neat happens right here. When I bring this x down in front, this would become x ln of e. But you should remember that ln of e is just 1. So really, all of this, I just think about ln of e canceling out, and I'm left with x. There's our arithmetic there, rounded off to 2.48. A little more involved here. Remember, we just said you have to have the exponential part totally isolated before you take the ln of both sides. So logic would say let's add 7 to both sides, which gives us this. Now we can take the ln of both sides. To think about this right here, the real mathematics of it is this 4x minus 5 is going to come down in front in parentheses times the ln of e. But we just said ln of e is 1, so all we really get out of this is just 4x minus 5. So when I'm looking at a problem like this, I just cross that out and bring down the 4x minus 5. Here's our ln of 11. 1250. Now this is a basic equation to solve. We've got to get this x alone. So we're going to add 5 to both sides and then we're going to divide everything by 4. Type it into your calculator exactly the way you see it. ln, you get the front parenthesis. Be sure you supply the back parenthesis plus 5. You might want to hit enter right after you do the top part and then divide by 4. If you're not going to do the enter thing, then this needs to be in its own parentheses before you divide by 4. And then there's your approximation. Hardest kind of problem right here because of the algebra that's going to follow, but the process is the same. This is exponential equation. To undo exponential, we do the opposite, which is log or natural log. So I take the ln of both sides. I get to bring the exponent down in front. Notice the exponents are binomial, so I keep them in parentheses. Now this is where it gets a little more complicated. This is a distributive property situation here. Distribute the ln of 7 times both of those gives us 2x ln of 7 plus 1 times ln of 7 or just ln of 7. Same thing on this side. Distribute this x ln 3 plus 2 ln 3, which looks rather complicated. But remember you're trying to solve an equation for x. So we have to follow our basic algebra, which is get your x stuff to one side, get your non-x stuff to the other side. So I will subtract x ln 3 from both sides. And I will subtract ln 7 from both sides. So really all I'm doing is taking the x part and sending it over here, taking the regular number and sending it over here. And when you do that, send it to the opposite side. You must have the opposite sign also. So this becomes 2x ln of 7 minus that, because it went to the other side. This over here, there's my 2 ln of 3 minus the ln of 7 because it went to the other side. Now that looks complicated, but that really is a number. Remember, you can type that into your calculator and get a number, which we'll do at the end, but that is a number. Now look over here, you've got x written twice. The only way we're going to be able to solve this and get the x alone is to factor out an x. So we factored an x, a GCF, out of this, and we're left with 2 ln and 7 minus ln 3. This stayed the same. This is x times this whole quantity. To undo x times the quantity, we must divide both sides by that quantity. This, uh, this is our exact answer. And type it in the calculator, and there's your approximation. Remember, a couple things if you're going to do this directly. If you're going to do this straight on directly, we need a pair of parentheses to go around the whole thing. Also, you're going to need to close off your parentheses on those. The bottom would need its own parentheses, and we would need parentheses around the 7, and another set of parentheses here. One more like that. Take the natural log of both sides. Bring these exponents down to be coefficients. They are in parentheses. Distribute 2x ln of 8, negative 5 times ln of 8, x times ln of 5, and 1 times ln of 5. Get your x stuff together, so send this guy over here and send him over there. 
So this is going to be 2x ln of 8 minus this part that came over. And then this, because this was a minus on this side, when we send it to the other side, it becomes plus. Here's our factoring situation. Factor an x out of here. That's x times whatever. So we need to divide by that quantity on both sides. So that whole thing will be on the bottom. And that's what we have right there. Type it into your calculator. Big set of parentheses. Close off those parentheses. Big set of parentheses. Close off those parentheses. And then hit enter and we get approximately 